Hello everyone, this is Faith from Firesign Tarot. I hope everyone is well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. We're going to throw down some cards this morning for Scorpio for their end of April reading. I'm going to try to get the cycle done by the end of the day. I know, I'm very much behind. I did not get home until very late last night, and by the time I got home... The domestic partner and the child were already asleep in my bed in my room where i read so it's like okay i'm gonna wake them up if i read cards so i guess i will just call it a night and sack out on the couch which is what i did so i'm here now and we're gonna do this this reading will be for scorpio sun moon rising venus if it resonates with you cool is your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to the cards if you choose to do anything at all? It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate, which it's not going to resonate with every Scorpio, it is a general reading. You can just forget you saw it all together and completely put it out of your mind and not give it a second thought, and that's fine. Or you can check your moon rising or Venus sign readings as they come out, if you haven't already. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can, maybe vice versa. It may play out from the perspective of a cross watcher, and you guys are welcome here too. I enjoy having you. All right. Without further ado, Scorpio, why are you here? Five of Swords. Mm, victory at the end of the battle. Possibly some changes in communication going on here. Picking up the pieces. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? The high priestess. You definitely feel connection here. It's like a gut feeling. It's a knowing and not knowing how you know. Something like that, you know? Picking up what I'm putting down. What do you think of them? Emperor reversed. Um, you may you may think they kind of don't have their crap together. They're kind of out of control. Maybe they're a little bit vulnerable. Could be an Aries or a Taurus you're dealing with. What do you want from them? King of Cups reversed. Hmm. We're going to get some clarity. First thought popping into my head, they need to tone their emotions down a little bit. How do they feel about you? Three of Wands. You can't see that because my cup's in the way. Three of Wands. Hmm. They're waiting for a ship to come in. They're they're waiting on you. They feel like you're waiting for something. Like you're waiting to take action, maybe? Waiting it out? What do they think of you? Ten of Pentacles. They see you as solid, stable, collected, and... You could financially have your crap together in their eyes. You got it going on. Okay, what do they want from you? The star in reverse. Perhaps they're in they're in a mindset where you haven't healed from something and they want you to heal. What's the challenge here? Empress growth. The Empress also represents family. Get that out of the way. It can represent spouse or marriage. Perhaps one of you is still married. Again, we'll get clarity on that. 
What needs to be done? The death card. Change, transformation, rebirth. The five of swords, the fives represent change. That chubby little caterpillar needs to go in that cocoon and come out a butterfly. Death needs to happen for the resurrection and rebirth. So something needs to come to an end for something else to begin. Okay. Possible outcome, the hermit reversed. Hmm. Okay, now that I'm completely confused, Scorpio, let's get some clarity. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards on the table? For Scorpio today, please, for their end of April reading. Get one card for the high priestess, please. Thank you. Eight of Wands. You may feel like they're not. You know the connections there. You totally feel it, but you feel like they're not the best communicator, or maybe there's something blocking the action of this. Eight of Wands reversed. It's not moving forward. You may feel like they're stuck. Something has them stuck. Something has them not taking action. And not talking about it. more on that. Thanks. High Priestess reversed. It's almost like they're fighting the connection. You feel the connection, you feel like they're fighting the connection. Okay. Why is the Emperor reversed here? Ace of Cups. You think that this has the potential... love you feel like there's you think that they're out of control the emperor's reversed they're out of control don't quite have their crap together maybe a little bit vulnerable ace of cups king of cups in the upright you think they have very deep feelings for you i think they express it a lot but I don't even know how to say what I'm, I don't even know how to express this right now. 
it's like almost a smothering energy. An out of control smothering energy. What you want is the King of Cups reversed. You want him to curb it a little bit. Can I get some clarity on this, please? So you you think you feel like they're fighting the connection, but they're smothering the connection at the same time. That's like some wishy-washy energy going on. Justice balance. You yeah, you want him to curb it. And just bring balance to it. Like a healthy balance. There possibly may also be some kind of legal matter that needs to be taken care of. For some of you, whoever that resonates with. Nine of Swords. They could possibly be a little bit bonkers. And again, they need to curb it. There needs to be a healthy balance here. Okay. Why is the Three of Wands here for how they feel about you? Four of Cups reversed. They feel like they're in a constant state of waiting. They feel like you ignore them. But yeah, here's the cup that they're trying to hand you right over here. And they kind of feel like you're ignoring the cup. I don't think I need to put another one on that. Why well, is Ten of Pentacles here for what they think of you? Hi. Whoa, where'd you go? Just kind of went fly. I hate it when that happens. Where'd you go? There you go. Five of Swords. Okay. You've crap together financially. You're stable. Probably have a good family life. Own house, own car, good job. They see these things. But you're still picking up pieces after a battle, too, and they know it. Very obvious. Very obvious. You are still in this state of change and thought process, too. One more on that, please. Thanks. Three of Pentacles. I think the foundation's definitely there for something abundant. Something stable, something that could really work and come together. Okay. Why is the star card reversed here for how they feel about you? Or, sorry, what they want from you. Why is the star card here from what the other person wants from Scorpio? Thank you. Five of Cups reversed, Prince of Swords reversed. They want you to come out of a state of sadness. They want you to recognize what they're trying to hand you. They want you to stop dwelling on the past. And this Prince of Swords that... Communication. Like, communication with someone needs to stop, maybe? Let's throw another one on that. Two of Wands. Yeah, they want to move forward. They want you to let go of your past and move forward. Okay. Why is the Empress here? 
Why is the Empress here for the challenge? I think this question's already been answered. Somebody needs to let go of something. Why is the Empress here for the challenge? Thank you. Ace of Swords. New communications. You could be dealing with an air sign person, possibly. New thoughts, new communications. Three of Cups reversed and the Ten of Wands. Oh, okay. The challenge here is releasing a burden. The challenge here is disconnecting from something else. Moving forward with something new and disconnecting from something else. Somebody in this situation has a very deep connection, possibly, to someone that they were or are still married to, possibly. It's like a deep family connection. It doesn't even necessarily have to be a marriage. It could be children. I gotta throw one more on that. Empress reversed. Scorpio, either you're still married or someone you're dealing with is still married. Good possibility. Doesn't necessarily have to be. There's a very... I'm almost sensing a meddling energy. Like, someone very close, possibly family, is meddling or is pulling strings. That's the challenge here. Which, I'm not going to lie, isn't necessarily a bad thing. The Two of Pentacles popped out. There's... There's a balancing. <sighs> balance. Balance. There's a balance that needs to happen here. This is, and I'm sorry this is so general and vague, but there's balance. There's a necessary balance that is not balanced right now. Why is the death card here for what needs to be done? Do I take it? Wheel of Fortune. Upward turn of events. Death. Change. Death. Resurrection. Rebirth. Change. Ending of a cycle to begin a new one. This needs to happen. A cycle has not ended here. Cycles have ran in it, into each other with this connection. And something has to end for something to begin. Those Whoever this is resonating with knows exactly what I'm talking about. Six of Pentacles reversed. Flew out. I'm going to set it over here because it, it, there's no intention in it. There's no balance. Something is off balance. Why is the hermit reversed here? Queen of Wands. Okay. more on that. Nine 
Nine of Cups reversed. Hmm. I think the Queen of Wands in this instance could represent a fire sign person. It's almost an argumentative energy. The Hermit Reverse, to me, at this point, represents an interruption in the path. Like, you're walking in the dark, and you can't see. Because you're not holding your light. The inner light it won't be found. You can't see the path you're supposed to be on because you're blind to it. The Nine of Cups Reversed... It, it's a lack of happiness. It's a lack of emotional fulfillment. It's filling your cups with the wrong things. There's deep emotion here. And there's great potential. There is. You want the other person to tone it down and the other person wants you to make a decision. Okay, right on. All right, let's get your advice. Three of Cups reversed, Three of Pentacles reversed. This is screaming third party situation to me. The third party crap needs to end. Y'all want to be together? Cool. But y'all got to make it happen if that's what you want. And if this, there's a third party involved in either one of you, somebody's got to disconnect from that or the foundation's never going to be laid. Three of cups reversed, three of pentacles reversed. You got to come out of the third party crap. That deck has spoken. Judgment reversed. Somebody's got to make a judgment call here, or the universe is going to do it. And y'all might not like it if the universe does it. Six of Swords in the upright, and the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. There's something huge and abundant here with huge potential it's not going to happen if somebody doesn't move forward I know it's hard to let go for whoever's listening I know it's hard to let go when you true when you love someone when it when it was a, a deep enough connection to be a marriage specifically it is very hard to let that go family ties are rooted very deep and i know what it's like to have to walk away from your family i've had to do it it wasn't my proudest most shining moment but I had to live my life my way. And that meant disconnecting. Do I recommend it for everybody? No, because family is important. It's very important. But you can't let other people pull your strings. You can't let other people make your decisions. Bottom of the deck. World reversed. There's definitely some unfinished business that needs to be finished. There's a cycle that needs to come to a close that has not. Because cycles have to close before other cycles can open. And if you have both doors open at the same time, a lot of wind rolls through. A lot of things can get in and out there. And if you understand that little analogy, leave a comment, send an email.
Scorpio, this has been your end of April reading. I apologize if it's so sketch and scattered. Um, let me know if it resonates. Um, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you feel so compelled, I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. Hit the notification bell if you feel so compelled. If you want to know when I upload again. And I will catch you guys in about a week, week and a half for your first part of May. Talk to you later.